Just Clowning Around by R.J. Aylert. Tony Hurst pulled into a parking lot adjacent to Washington Park well after sunset. The lamppost illuminated half a dozen cars in the area, but he couldn't spot Nick's. Maybe he had taken the bus, though the oversized mallet would have gotten some strange stares. Tony put his car into park and reached toward the passenger seat, but it was empty. He swore, don't tell me I have to drive all the way back. Then he looked in the back seat and found the digital camera. Tony wished he had more time for setup, but Mr. Parker had kept him late tonight. Still, he needed to get some good footage to upload for April Fool's Day tomorrow. He promised himself that he wouldn't procrastinate in the future. Tony had posted periodic prank videos for the last few years, and recently they had started to get a lot of traction online. A few months ago, a video of his was even on one of those Comedy Central clip shows. Tony hadn't seen a dime for that, of course, but it had dramatically increased traffic to his webpage. If the trend continued, he might be able to make a living wage off the advertisements. Then he could tell Mr. Parker where he could stick it. Tony locked his car and jogged up the path through the wooded park. Yellow light bathed the walkway cement and brushed against the trees. Thankfully, there was still the occasional person or couple walking through the park. It wasn't too late for foot traffic. Tony slowed his pace as he came to a bend in the path. The curve was significant enough to block the view from either direction, and most importantly, the trees and brush were thick enough to hide someone at night. It was the place he had scoped out with Nick a few days ago, and they had agreed that it would be the best location to jump out from. Normally, he would have brought Austin with him, but he was out of town this week visiting his parents. Nick was a co-worker at Parker's Diner, and after finding out that Tony did prank videos, he made it more than clear that he wanted to be in one. Tony didn't have any other options at this point, so he told Nick that if he rented his own costume, he could be the prankster while Tony filmed. Tony looked both ways down the path, which were currently clear of people, and then walked through the trees. He called out, Nick, you in here? The night gloom was thick a dozen feet from the lampposts and within the foliage. He fished out his cell phone to use as a light, but it was off. Ugh. He had forgotten to turn it on when he left the diner. If Nick had left him high and dry, he'd... Well, he'd be screwed out of prime content tonight. The screen came on, and he shined it around. As he turned, his eyes fixed on a distorted white face, with flame-red hair, huge glassy eyes, and an inhumanly manic grin. The figure stepped out from behind a tree revealing baggy, motley-colored clothing, and it heaved a giant mallet over its shoulder. Tony stumbled back against a tree and almost let out a scream. Then he registered the clown costume and realized that Nick had arrived and gotten into character already. Tony let out a few steadying breaths and said, Ha! Huh, you really startled me there, Nick. Good effect. Uh, you ready? The clown mask bent down once in assent. Tony said, Okay, well I'll go see if anyone is coming. As he crept up to the clearing, the cell began to ring. He cursed, hoping it hadn't tipped off any pedestrians, and went to silence the call until he saw that it read Nick Clark. Tony turned around but couldn't see Nick in the woods, so he answered the phone. What are you playing at? Nick said, What do you mean? Didn't you get my messages? No, I just turned my phone on. Where did you go? Nick replied, I just got done talking to the police. Someone broke into my house. They've really trashed the place. They robbed me too. Even took that rental clown costume. Why would someone steal that? Tony let the phone slip from his face and turned its glow into the woods. The clown walked up, mallet raised high, and it began to laugh. <laughs> After Tony had run screaming through the park and out of sight, Nick came out of his hiding spot on the other side of the walkway. He turned his camera from the departed Tony to the clown as it took off the mask and revealed a face familiar to Tony's audience. Ron Brown was the subject of a certain prank video which had played on Comedy Central. Nick asked, When do you want to upload this? Ron replied, See how long you can keep him thinking this was real. Maybe he'll learn a lesson about scaring strangers. Nick smiled and said, I hope I can keep a straight face at work. 